you have a Jupyter notebook and you want to embed an image inside this notebook. Now, depending on where you want to embed the image, there are multiple ways in which you can include the image inside the notebook. For example, if you want to embed the notebook, sorry, if you want to embed the image inside of a markdown cell, you can use the edit menu. For example, let's say we want to include the image in the output of this specific markdown cell. So you can use the edit menu and go down right to the bottom to the insert image option. Now, if you try to do this in a non-active markdown cell, for example, this current markdown cell is an active editable markdown cell. But if you try to do this in this particular markdown cell, which is currently not active or editable, unless we double click it, so if you try to do that, you'll see that, that the insert image option is disabled. Similarly, you cannot use this option in a code cell as well. So for example, if you are in this code cell and you try to insert the image, the insert image option is disabled. So to insert the image using the edit menu, go to the markdown cell, make it editable by double clicking it and then go to the edit menu and click on the insert image option. This will open up a selection pane you can choose the file that you want to include for example i'm choosing this particular image and i'm selecting okay and this will spit out a markdown to include that specific image in the cell if we execute this cell you can see that this image is included as the output of the markdown cell which is a quite large large image now the second method is basically the first method without the usage of the edit menu. You can, if you know the markdown syntax, you can you directly embed the image using the syntax itself. So the syntax is something like this, which is similar to how you would include a hyperlink in markdown. So in the square brackets, you provide the name of the image. This could be any name. And in the parentheses, provide the location or the URL of the image that you want to include. For example, this image is present in the images folder in the current working directory with the name no regrets cat.jpg. If I execute this set, we again get the same output because the first method and the second method are essentially the same methods. Just the difference is that we are using the GUI of the edit menu in the first method. Now, there is one more way in which you can include an image. Uh, inside the output for Markdown cell, which is using the HTML image tag. Now, Markdown cells in Jupyter Notebook can also include HTML tags as well. So, for example, you'll use the image tag. We'll provide the source of the image as the location of the image in local machine, which is this particular location. Oh, fidgets, can, or GPG. Additionally, here we you can also specify the width and height which are uh, that you want the image to have because the image tag allows us to do that. So you can, let's say we want the image to be four, 400 by 400 pixels. So you can see the image now has been included with the custom size that we used in the HTML tag. So, so we saw how we could include images as the in the output of the markdown set. You can also include image in the output of a code cell as well. For that, you'll have to use the image function available in the IPython dot display module and use this function to include the image. So it takes a URL parameter where you specify the location of the image. Here we are specifying that the image is present in the local machine only and we will specify its path. We can also additionally specify the width and height that we want the image to have. For example, let's again make this image 400 by 400. So if we execute the set, we again, we get the 400 by 400 image, of the cat, which is the output from the code set. So a quick recap. In this tutorial, we saw how we could in embed or include image in a Jupyter Notebook. You can, to include the image in a markdown cell, you can use, make the markdown cell as active and then go through the edit menu and then use the insert image option. 
Alternatively, you can directly use the markdown syntax if you're familiar with the syntax and provide the name of the image and the location where the image is located. Uh, you can also use the HTML tag to include an image. In this, we use the IMG image tag. We provide the source as the location of the image. And additionally, we can also provide the width and height of the image. We can also include an image in the code set using the image function present in the ipython.display module. The image function takes the URL, which is the location of the image. This can be the location on a local machine as well. And it also has additional parameters for the width and the height that you want the image to have.